What is going on, fellow trumpeters and musicians? My name is Josh Rozepka, and today I would like to share a couple ideas about tuning with you. Now, this video is primarily geared towards all of my young trumpet playing friends, all of you beginners and developing players out there. This video is going to help you play more in tune and feel more confident about tuning your instrument. Now, I know when I was growing up, uh, no one ever actually really told me how to tune my instrument best. Now, it should go without saying that it is very important that we need to tune our instruments every time that we play. Just because we need to tune our trumpet every single day doesn't mean that there is something wrong with our trumpet or something wrong with us. The trumpet does not stay in tune from day to day. It is not like a xylophone or a marimba, which is tuned at the factory and it remains in tune. The trumpet has so many moving parts and due to the nature of the metal and how it expands and contracts with the temperature and the way that our chops, our lips behave and act every single day, there can be quite a difference in where the slide needs to be for our trumpet. When we are tuning, uh, I know a lot of you young players out there, you like to leave your tuning slide at the same spot you think, okay, well, this was in tune yesterday, or this is where it normally is, and you wanna leave it there, even if the tuner says otherwise, because you have it in your head, you say, well, this is where it needs to be. Well, let me tell you, when it is really cold out, you need to push your slide in quite a bit. Uh, so if you're in marching band, you will sometimes find that you have to push the slide in all the way, and you're still going to be out of tune. Conversely, if it's very hot out, sometimes you're gonna find yourself pulling your slide out maybe an inch or two, like you may actually really need to move your slide a lot. And that is why it is essential that we have a tuner and that we know the best way to tune using the tuner. Now, when I was developing and I was in band when I was younger, I had various band directors that tuned the band in different ways. Sometimes we would get a pitch that was played from the oboe player in orchestra or from the clarinet player in wind ensemble, and then we would all tune off of that note. Sometimes the band director would hold up a, a tuner and have each of us play and tell us whether we were sharp or flat. But one thing that was never really said was play your instrument, blow straight through it, uh, which is so important because a lot of times we get a director or a teacher may take out a metronome and there's a button on here and they can press it and it gives a pitch. Now here's the thing. When we hear that pitch, so many of us, our tendency is to try and match that pitch. And that actually is not gonna help us. That is not tuning the trumpet. What we really wanna do, uh, we wanna get a tuner out, put it on your stand, and then don't look at it. You know, close your eyes, look away, and then play your note. And then look at the tuner to see where you were. You wanna blow right through the trumpet. You wanna play where the trumpet is resonating. You don't wanna try and lip it up. You don't wanna try and lip it down. You wanna figure out where the trumpet is at. If it says you're 10 cents flat, well, then you know that you need to pull your slide in. If it says you're 12 cents sharp, well, then you know you need to pull your slide out a little bit. And then repeat that process. Just bring your horn up, play a note, don't look at the tuner. Once you have a nice full resonant note, then look at the tuner and see where you're at. If you do that, then you will set your trumpet up for success. You will be playing so much better in tune because here's the thing. If you're not in tune, if you are five cents flat, if you are 10 cents sharp, well, what is that gonna do for your playing? If we aren't in tune, well, that means that we need to lip to be in tune. If our trumpet isn't tuned properly, we have to lip all of our notes. Well, what happens if you're playing a whole concert and your tuning slide is in the wrong spot? That means every single note that you're playing, you are having to lip into the right position or you're just playing out of tune. Uh, but if you are lipping all of those notes, you are going to be killing yourself. You are gonna be killing your chops because your chops are working extra hard grabbing the note and trying to wrangle it into place and your sound is not going to be as resonant as it could be. It's not gonna sound as, as full and as effortless as it could be. Uh, it's just gonna sound like you're, you're kind of pinching the sound and you're controlling it and you may be playing in tune but it's not gonna have the sparkle that it could. So very, very important that you just 
keep that in mind. Sometimes I tune for a gig and depending on the weather, when I'm on the road, when I'm touring, depending on the air conditioning in the venue that I'm in, depending on the humidity, there can be so many factors that might impact the tuning on your instrument. And because of that, sometimes I found that I need to pull my slide out a quarter of an inch uh, or a half of an inch if it's really hot outside, uh, maybe a full inch. Sometimes I really need to adjust my tuning slide a lot. And I look at it and I think for a moment, I'm like, wait a minute, that's not right. But I do that test. I put my tuner on the stand. I play a nice full resonant tuning note. Then I look at the tuner and I see that I'm in tune and I know that I have set my instrument uh, where it needs to be to be the most in tune based on all of the circumstances, all right? There's a lot of circumstances out of our control. Uh, so we don't wanna be inflexible. We don't wanna think that, well, I'm always in this position. So that's where it should be because sometimes that changes and you wanna make sure that you are setting yourself up for success. If we are playing in tune, it is just gonna make everything that much better. Now, if you don't have a tuner just like this, then you can get one on your phone. There are plenty of tuner apps out there. A lot of them are free. Some of them just cost a couple dollars. I use one that is called Tunable. I think it's a great app, but I know that there are a lot of choices out there. So make sure that you have a tuner on your phone Make sure that you get one of these little tuners that you can throw in your case. That way you're not taking your phone out during rehearsal and potentially distracting yourself. So I hope that this video helps you all uh, with your tuning. And if you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button. And if you haven't yet subscribed, please click that button below. It really makes a big difference and it allows me to keep creating these videos and bringing them to you every single week. All right, that is it. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.